Hey guys, it's Brandon Amoroso from Electric Marketing. Uh, I'm going to talk to you guys today a little bit about how to be uh, an entrepreneur, but specifically while you're still in college, how to manage that time commitment between classes and working on your project. First things first, you want to prioritize. So set both short and long-term goals. So short-term goals would look like for this semester, what do I really want to accomplish? Um, is there a certain GPA that you're shooting for? Do you want to get all A's in all of your classes? Is there a round of funding that you're trying to raise for your company? Do you want to get X amount of clients within this semester? Set those short-term goals and make sure that whatever you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis is guiding you to completing and succeeding and executing upon those short-term goals. And also long-term goals. So think about this in terms of about six months or longer, anything past that time frame. You want to make sure that what you're doing today is going to set you up for those long-term goals. So for instance, for me, my long-term goals are, I want to make my digital marketing company one of the most uh, successful and prevalent agencies in the entire country. Obviously, that's a long-term goal. That's over a year out, at least. But everything I'm doing on a daily basis is building towards that. I'm setting up new meetings with potential clients. I'm still going to class, learning as much as I can through the business school to try and inform what I'm doing for my actual company. So I'm taking my short-term goals and making sure that they are lining up with my long-term goals. Secondly, you wanna choose the right courses. Make sure that the classes that you're taking are actually helping you in your entrepreneurial pursuits. Obviously, this can't be done for all of your classes. You do have to take some requirements. But for me, this semester, I'm enrolled in two entrepreneurship classes. And the basis for these classes is you take an idea and you bring it to fruition throughout the semester. I already have my idea. I'm already executing on electric marketing. So I'm taking my classes and having them work for me. My teachers are actively involved in my business and helping me make sure that it's successful. So one of my classes to be specific is a feasibility analysis class. So I'm taking electric marketing through that entire process, but it is technically schoolwork. I'm getting four units for this class. And so I'm letting my schoolwork work for me and I'm getting the most out of my education by applying it to real life and helping me pursue my own goals. And third, you want to connect with other students. You want to network. This is probably one of my biggest regrets so far while attending university. I've been too focused on working or grades that I haven't necessarily spent as much time networking and connecting with like-minded individuals like myself uh, to sort of build out my network and begin to develop lifelong lasting relationships, whether those are personal or business. So you definitely want to network not at the expense of your academics or of your business, but you business is networking. With connections, the sky is the limit for whatever you wanna do. Fourth, you need to create a schedule and a checklist. This is super important. Every single one of my days is planned out to a T. Obviously, sometimes things can change, but when I wake up in the morning, I know exactly what I'm gonna be doing that day. How much time I'm going to be spending on electric marketing, how much time I'm going to be spending on schoolwork, how much time I'm going to be spending with my dog at the park. All of these things are budgeted for and accounted for in my daily schedule. And so it's really rewarding when you have this checklist, let's say it's 15 boxes for the day, and you start checking these things off and you start gaining momentum. And every day is like, yeah, I'm really doing this. I'm killing it. I'm already done with seven of my tasks for today, and it's only 11 a.m. So create a schedule and a checklist and execute off that. And to build off that, wake up early. All of my best work is done in the morning without any distractions. Wake up and just immediately get to work. Start doing something. If you're not up before 8 a.m., you are missing out. And especially on uh, the West Coast when we have to deal with the Pacific time, if it's 8 a.m., it's already 11 a.m. on the East Coast and in New York, the business capital of the world. So we should be looking at waking up at around 6 a.m. at the very latest. And fifth, your weekends are your catch-up time, especially for college entrepreneurs. You're so busy with classes during the week, you might not be getting to everything that you should be. The weekends are when you catch up on your work. My entire weekend has been spent working on the SEO initiatives for two of my clients on Shopify. I've spent about 14 hours already this weekend working on their SEO initiatives. 
on Shopify. The keyword research, the implementation, the content creation, all of that has been done over the weekend. So that leads me to my sixth point, which is you have to learn how to say no. College is full of opportunities to go out, go get drunk with your friends, hang out. You could do this every night, quite frankly, if you wanted to. But this is where you have to learn to say no. You can't overextend yourself. Maybe you shouldn't be going out on that Monday night, on that Tuesday night, when you have other classes that you need to be preparing for, when you have a business deadline. You need to learn how to prioritize and learn to say no. There's always going to be another opportunity to go out, but you're not necessarily going to be able to explain your way out of missing a business deadline. My seventh suggestion is to find a mentor. I found already in my college career three mentors. One very specifically I found in high school who has been able to guide my career up until this point. Any sort of questions I have, whether they're with digital marketing, any sort of general business questions, or just life in general, you're able to reach out to them and you know that they're going to give you a response that is not only um, good, but they care about you and they want to make sure that you're going to succeed. So make sure to find those mentors. It doesn't even have to be in the industry that you want to go into, but make sure that you have that mentor that you can rely upon, who is successful, who you look up to, who you want to emulate, and develop that relationship and that connection so that you have a mutual goal in helping yourself succeed. My eighth suggestion for college entrepreneurs is just to do it. Even if you don't think your idea is scalable, even if you look down upon your own idea, and, oh, that's a shitty idea, I should just push it off, it's never going to work, it's not going to happen, you should just go ahead and do it. When I finally decided to just do it a year ago, I had no idea that I could already have 15 clients, that I'd be traveling around the U.S., meeting with them, developing campaigns for them, doing content creation, creative SEO work. As a 21-year-old, I thought that that was off the limits to me, that I would be looked down upon because of my age. But actually, you can use your age as an advantage. Um, we are part of a millennial generation that is more up-to-date with digital advertising and technology than ever before. People are looking to us as resources. So if there's anything that you want to do, just go ahead and do it. Now is the time to fail. You are still in college. You can fall back on um, your schooling, your family. You have tight relationships. You are safe. It's not like you're 50 years old and you're overextending yourself and you're taking a huge risk. Entrepreneurship doesn't have to be risky. Just start working, just start doing it. And that really sums up all of my tips for college entrepreneurs. Um, if you have any questions, if you're looking to start a business and you're not sure how and you're currently still in college, or you just wanna reach out and connect, uh, feel free to. My email's brandon at electricmarketing.com um, and I'll get back to you that same day. Uh, thanks for listening. Thank you.